Hey guys, Big Fatty Pulse here, and uh, I'm taking time here to show you my current project list. Um, there's my mouse, da, 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 da. And right here is the current one, Fear. And then, like I said, no particular order, so I'll bounce around this list here, of which one I'm going to do next. But my current thing is uh, this, these three right here. You see, um, last night I watched a two-hour, uh, Skype chat of, uh, of Chaz Dragoons, where he was talking about SOPA and all that, and, uh, I think about part five or six he started to get into EA's bullshit, and I'm like, I knew about some of the crap EA's been doing, um, and it's like, there's nothing you can really do, they're nickel and diamond customers, uh, well, it's, well, you know the thing about where if you buy one of their games used, you can't play it online unless you pay them like five or so bucks or you join their origin service. Well, there's some other things I found out through uh, Chaz's uh, Skype chat. I'm going to give you some links in the description there where you can find out pretty much the whole thing. Um, but uh, I, I'm going to put the link in the video of the one where the, the, the shite really hits the fan, basically. Uh... As well as some other links. Basically, though, there's some other things that have come to light that I did not uh, was not um, aware of until very recently, like uh, EA's mass bannings on their uh, their uh, forums. Basically, if uh, you basically if this is how bad it is, you go on their forums and uh, you do something and you get banned off their forums. Not only are you banned off your off their forums, you're banned from playing their games. If you have if you have an origin account, uh, your forum uh, thing is automatically tied to it. And if you do something bad on the forums, you're banned not only from the forums, you're banned from playing your games. You will not be able to play them. And if you try to call them and ask them and tell them, hey, I can't play my games, the short answer will basically be, oh. Our, playing our video games are a privilege. You've abused that privilege. Sucks to be you. And they won't do anything about it, which is fracking stupid. But uh, that's actually the tip of the iceberg, you know, because uh, also on their forums, if someone mentions, if someone starts swearing and everything, and it mentions your name in the post, even though you ha you couldn't even be posting in that part of the forum, if they mention your name in the post, you're banned. And you didn't do anything. Someone could go on EA's forums and just ban, just get people banned willy-nilly because the person that did the post, oh, they don't get in trouble. But yet, every single person you mention in that post, you're screwed. You could go on their forums and say, to the extent of, uh, EA could go suck my dick, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. And then mention, like, 20 users' names in the, uh, just put 20 users' names in the post. Suddenly, those 20 users, gone, banned, for no reason. They could just arbitrarily pick names out of a hat and go, ban, 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 ban. And these people are banned, and they can call and call and call, and it won't do a damn bit of good. They'll be, they won't be able to play. Because EA will say, oh, you, uh, you, uh, abused your privileges. I didn't post anything. Well, you tick someone else off and abused your privileges anyway. Sucks to be you. But, there's some other things that have been going on that I found out that have really pissed me off about EA. And, uh, I'm not going to say it all, because yeah, it would take too much time, but, uh, I'll have some links in the description, one of which is from a former, uh, EA employee, who was talking about how, uh, well, I'll, I'll mention two of them, uh, one, ones I think, one was where, this one guy committed suicide because working conditions were so bad at EA, and he was just basically abused by the higher-ups to the point to where he got so depressed he committed suicide. There was a guy who got committed suicide at EA. Um, it was a guy, it, this was for, uh, it was a guy who was playing uh, an EA game uh, from uh, Mythic. Uh, I think so. I, I'll, I'll have to, you'll have to read, you'll have to watch Chaz's uh, full two-hour uh, Skype chat. I can't remember exactly right now. Because uh, it was last night when I watched it. But, um... 
a guy was playing uh, a game, and uh, he had the thing set for auto pay, and they billed him 20 times. It, it was a glitch in the system that billed him 20 times, drained his freaking account of all of his, uh, you know, of all of his money. So when it came time for him to pay the bills, and the, the co- then the uh, power company looked at his account and said there was no, saw there was no money, they shut his power off. Wouldn't have been such a bad thing if it weren't for the fact that uh, he had an elderly family member on life support. It was on a breathing apparatus. When the power went out, so did that. The family member died. They sued EA and Mythic. But you reason why you didn't hear it in the news? EA got it swept under the rug. But uh, there's some crap in there. And what, it, anyway, what I'm trying to get to is... After hearing and reading all this, it seriously put three of my potential LPs in that doubt. Because I, two of these, like this, Shank was gifted to me by White Sword through the Humble Indie Bundle. I bought American, uh, I bought Alice Madness Returns, and I bought Clive Barker's Undying a long time ago. About, about like seven, eight years ago. But here's the thing. Right now, they're at the bottom of the heap. I'm not sure if I want to do them. I I know some people want me to do Alice. Because it's the sequel to American McGee's Alice. And I, and I have a couple people who want me to do Shank. Because it's a good game. But, I don't, I'm not sure if I want to do them right now or at all. That's why they all three have under review next to their uh, things. Basically... I'm not sure if I want to do them. I'm not sure if I want to give EA publicity. I'm not sure if I want to give people, hey, this game's good, you should go get it. I'm not sure if I want to send people to EA to buy games. So I'm going to ask all of you guys. Do you want me to do those games? Do you want me to do these games? If you want me to do them, you know, say so. I, I need a overwhelming support here. I, I need to know if anyone wants me to do them. If there's more yeses than noes in the comment section of this video, then when it comes time to do them, I'll do them. However, if I get more noes than yeses when it comes time, I will not do them. On the principle that, well, my subscribers will agree with me that uh, EA doesn't deserve the publicity. I don't want to give them any more publicity. I already did uh, American McGee's house, and I'm not pulling it down because that was too much hard work. But basically, um, let me know if you feel that I should go through these things, go do these uh, games, or should I say no? I'm not going to give EA the publicity anymore. They don't deserve it. They're, as Chaz Dragoon said, they are a cancer on the video game industry. In fact, if if EA were to pull an Enron and suddenly collapse, yes, it would be tragic. Lots of jobs would be lost. But I think the gaming industry as a whole would be better if EA didn't exist. And EA used to be such a good company way back when. They used to be, and then I don't know what happened. But EA now? No. I, I definitely will not buy any more EA games. If a Star Trek game comes out, if it's got the EA label, I'm not getting it. If a favorite, if if EA were to somehow get a hold of the Final Fantasy license, li- uh, license, I'll never play Final Fantasy again. EA is a devil company. They're, they're screwed up. I will never support them. So, um, guys, just let me know in the comments or make a uh, uh, video response of what you believe. And, uh, let me know. Big Fatty Plus, sign off.